Mesdames et messieurs, préparez vos pièces d'identité. Ne joignez pas le FLN. Well, that's the sound of the 1966 French film, The Battle of Algiers, being shown in an underground tunnel here in London. Why, you might ask? Well, it's part of a project called Secret Cinema, which not only shows movies in unusual locations, but also tries to recreate the spirit of films with a whole theatrical performance involving actors during the screening. Plus, as the name of the company suggests, the screening themselves are kept secret until the last moment. Well, now, Secret Cinema is heading to the Afghan capital, Kabul, where there's a very good reason for keeping the precise location secret. Fabian Riggle is one of the founders. So, why Kabul? Well, we launched Secret Cinema in London in 2007. Um, the next event that we're doing is our biggest event yet. And, and I guess we're very passionate that culture should be accessible to anybody anywhere. We run a film festival called Future Shorts, which is a pop-up film festival where anyone in the world can actually host it. And we have a, a, a we found a partner in Kabul, who it just had such an amazing uh, energy and tenacity, and I felt that he really was going to do this. And we wanted to bring a little bit of what we do here in London to to a place like Kabul. Are you worried though about security? I mean, it's a big problem in Kabul, and uh, there may be people who feel like that a Western film project is a is a target. Um, well, it's as as I said in London. Secret cinema is 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 secret. We don't let people know what the film is or where it is up until the last minute. And how, how la just to be clear, how last minute is it? Presumably, you have to give people a few hours notice. Yeah, well, they have a few hours notice. We essentially let them know two days before what the location is. But obviously, in Kabul, the security is uh, for a different reason, and they literally cannot give the um, location away right until I think an hour before. Um, and how will you let people know? Is it through social networking sites? Well, so the event is we have a, a Facebook event, which is both in Kabul and London. Over 19,000 are expected in London um, over the 39 run. And in, in Kabul, we have over 150 people coming. And essentially, they'll be exactly the same way as in London. They'll, they'll receive an email a few hours before to tell them the location of where it is. Is that the sort of number that you're after in Kabul? I mean, it's, it's not as much as in London. I mean, no. would you like to get a few more people on board? No, we, I mean, you know, the, the, the spirit of what we're doing, we wanted to essentially give a little part of what we do in London. So, you know, in London, it's very much we have over 100 actors and it's a it's a very large project. But we want to start with a small event in which there's a code word to get in and uh, there's a secret band playing later on. And the chap organising it is an Australian man who's lived in Kabul for the last five years. Uh, are you a, can you give us a hint at all as, as to what the film might be? Well, all I can say is that it's set in the world of uh, espionage, and it's a um, it's a very uh, it's a. I mean, is there a, is there an Afghan link in the film? Well, there isn't, but we've created this. What we do is we create. We've sort of brought the stage. We we take over a building and we create the world of a film in a building, and we've taken the stage to Facebook because so many people spend so much time on Facebook. We've created all of our actors that are performing in the event are playing the role of actors, and we've set our main character who uh, his code name is Henry Rose Fleming and he is currently in Kabul on undisclosed business and it's set uh, a, a few years ago and uh, so people can follow his profile as he is in Kabul right now Fabian Riggle there of Secret Cinema